Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Before we start with today's video, I have an announcement to make because what you're looking at is my first video in many years that is not a professional YouTuber's work. <laughs> That's right, I'm going back to hobby status. Let me explain. As you may know, about a year and a half ago, YouTube started the apocalypse, making it very, very hard to earn any money for a YouTuber with a weapon like content like mine. And um, what happened is that um, my income dropped dramatically. See, these are the first four months of 2017. And these are the first four months of 2018. So within eight months, my income dropped to about, I would say, maybe 20% of what it used to be. And uh, earlier before, I was making around $6,500 a month. And after paying taxes and paying for the materials, I still had enough money to live. But of course, on like uh, $1,400, that is not possible anymore. I can hardly pay for insurance and materials. So I started to do more sponsoring and that worked for a while and I had plenty of demand, but my audience didn't like it very much and I lost a lot of subscribers that way. In any case, uh, I think I clung to the idea of being a professional YouTuber for too long now and the fun was going out of it a little bit. All these nasty emails and messages about banned and deleted and demonetized videos, about denied appeals and so on. You know, and then these stupid censors at YouTube that don't even understand their own rules. I am sick and tired of it and therefore I've decided to quit YouTube as a professional and only stay as a hobby guy without any intention to make money. So I will no longer monetize my videos and this video is actually non-monetized. I'm even putting my videos in Creative Commons now. This means that my videos um, are now in the public domain. I've also decided to no longer do any sponsored videos with the exception uh, if I find a product so cool that I'm deciding to sell it in my store, like I did with the uh, knife that I invented and that Böker manufactured for me. Unfortunately, it was sold out within 24 hours. Thanks for that. <laughs> also, I first planned to delete my Patreon, but I got so many messages from people saying that they still would like to donate so I can pay for the materials and still bring cool videos that I decided to leave that on. But I will remove all the uh, tiers. This means that um, it's now a tip patreon website and if you like to give me a tip so i can buy materials then feel free to do so i'd be grateful but i'm not trying to live from that money anymore i have uh, picked up a normal job and i'm also the manager of the store of the gogan company that used to be my store and uh, that should give me enough money to live i hope <laughs> it's been fun guys and thanks for being so loyal now what is going to change well i will probably upload a little bit less often and but there will also be no more sponsoring and no more uh, ads so this is a pure hobby channel and uh, but i will also try to go back to my roots and do more rubber stuff do more stuff that i've invented and not show so many other people's products so let's start right there <laughs> this episode is about a chinese repeating crossbow it is an invention of the ancient chinese and is actually really old and these weapons, the way how they work is that you press it against your chest and then you have this lever and then you go jing, 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 jing. And it would not have a trigger, it would automatically fire, like today we would say it slam fires, you know. So when you reach the full extension of the bow, then jing, the shot would fall and there's a magazine, it's gravity fed. And you could fire as long as you still had ammo in the magazine or until the thing jammed, which happened quite often. So I decided to build a Shukonu, that's the name of the Chinese repeating crossbow, myself, but in small scale, just to check it out. And also, of course, exchange it to rubber. So no longer use a bow, but because it's the Slingshot channel, go to rubber as the storage media. And here is what I came up with. The mini pistol Shukonu with rubber power. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> So, as you see, it's fairly small and that is because I'm using small ammo. This is chambered for the IKEA pencils that I used to buy before. Here is the magazine. And so you could fit about 10 of these into the magazine. You can get these inexpensively, means for free from IKEA. <laughs> and you simply feed them into this, which is really only a box. And you feed them in, just like that. And then because it's gravity fed, Usually you put something heavy like this piece of uh, flat steel 
you put this in so that they would stay safely in the magazine. Sometimes they even have a clap on this. And the way how this works is that you can see this pin underneath here, right? So this pin, when you put it back, you see that it lifts up the magazine box with the entire ammo and also it catches the string in this notch here. And as you can see, there is this little moving part which is pushing up when you slam fire like that. So when I push it down, then the shot falls. And if I push it back to the front, it actually shifts in the string into the notch and the entire action can repeat. Quite ingenious, don't you think? The number of moving parts is really low. I mean, if I slip off the rubber bands here, I can show this to you. Because what you have is, you have this box and you see that this, this little rod here. It simply moves up and down without a spring, just from gravity. Um, you have the uh, you have the levers, of course, and you have the stock. And what I had to do is because this is the rubber powered version, I had to install string stoppers because usually this is d uh, done by the bow, which has enough pretension that it doesn't need a string stopper. But rubber bands, of course, need one; otherwise, it would be impossible to pick up the bands. Now the rate of fire can be quite high. Bang! Bang! Yeah. <laughs> See, that is one of the disadvantages of this thing. Sometimes they jump up in the magazine even though there's the heavy weight in it. And that actually also happened in, uh, in combat. So it's one of the disadvantages of the gravity-fed magazine that it adds unreliability. Okay, again, rate of fire. Bam! 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 <laughs> Quite fast! Let's see if we can find out how fast these arrows fly. Okay, 123.7 feet per second. Not bad for an IKEA pencil. Is it also possible to shoot more badass ammo? Certainly. I've made those from a broken carbon fiber arrow and put a nail into the front and actually made a few of them. And they have the exact same length and diameter than the IKEA pencils and therefore they can be fired from this weapon. And since they're front heavy, they are supposed to um, fly halfway straight. Let's find out. Wow! Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Hammered them in nicely. Okay, 10 meter barn distance. Let's see if they fly straight after that stretch. Wow, they do. <laughs> All of them stick. I actually like this little wooden toy. <laughs> and with these, it's not even so toyish. In any case, there were always disadvantages when you shot the Shu Konu, even in ancient China. There was a lot that the weapon left to be desired. Um, and even Wikipedia talks a little bit about these disadvantages. One disadvantage is that it's a slam fire only thing. It was really bad for aiming. You know, you can shoot a lot of arrows in a very short time. But of course, the disadvantage is they will only be roughly going in one direction. Now the next disadvantage is the gravity-fed magazine, because it's uh, unreliable. Sometimes it just uh, pitches up, or if you're repeating too fast, then they even jump out of the magazine, or can't in wrongly in the magazine. So that is a clear disadvantage that needs to be taken care of. Okay, and also this notch here is actually not easy on the string, because the string has to ride up about the, above the edge. So the string suffers quite a bit from a weapon like this. So, three disadvantages that I would like to fight. Can we really improve on such a super old, super successful design? I think we can. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the improved Chinese Shukonu Jörg Sprave style. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Actually, I think it's the first time for 
many centuries that someone has attempted to really improve on the design of the Shukonu because it's so functional and simple. So of course it's rubber powered and that will be very easy to ex exchange against the normal bow and therefore it also needs the string stopper. So that's identical. But as you can see it has a trigger now and also it has this lever here. Well that is so that you can aim. Because now what you can do with this is you can cock it and look what happens. It stays in the rear position. And this little lever here catches it, so I can also decock it at any time without shooting, which you can't do with the original Shukonu. And what I can also do is, I can do that and then fire. <laughs> and if I want to repeat, I push the lever and fire again. Super easy. <laughs> But if I want to slam fire, so I, if I want the same repeating speed like the original Shuko knew, all I do is I use my thumb to press down on this and I press down on the trigger and then I am in slam fire, fire mode again. <laughs> so I have the advantages of the old and the new design combined in one weapon. Next thing that I improved is the magazine and now the magazine is spring fed. As you see it has this lever here, you know that is powered by a spring, but of course the Chinese would probably have used a bamboo spring or something like that. And you can easily feed the ammunition into the magazine like this. Again about 10 of them into the magazine. And this thing will keep the pressure on them so that this thing shoots in any case. It even shoots upside down. <laughs> and I think you can even repeat upside down. Okay, push the lever cock it again and shoot. <laughs> Clear advantages. How does this work? Well, let me show you. I'll slip off the, the rubber and as you see there is now very short rubber bands here and weak rubber bands that are only so that this thing aligns itself and it's a better accuracy. Those are not really needed for the action. So slip off those two. Okay. And here is the magazine box. And as you see, the magazine box has two parts that are poking out. And one is the trigger. And as you see, let me see if the camera focuses. When you press on this button here, then the trigger releases the string. And here, this hook actually clamps down in the system. Because when I'm, when I'm taking these to the front, as you see, there is a mechanism here. First of all, there is this very simple trigger lever that presses on the trigger that is embedded into the box and this actually is a hook that catches the the box so here now the box is caught and when i press the trigger you see that the shot can fall simple and effective all right let's find out how fast i can fire this in slam fire mode I will do eight shots. That was pretty quick <laughs> and reliable. Did you notice? can be a little nasty on the ammo though. <laughs> now since I can aim very carefully, I have also better chances to hit. So, let's see. Ha! Go for one more. Yeah. All right, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial, either for this one or for the original Shukonu without any of these modern changes. If you are interested, please leave a comment to this video and tell me which one you like, because I don't have the time to do both. As you can see, the two models are fairly identical in their dimensions. So, I hope you like this, because... Ha, ha, ha.
That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. <laughs> bye bye. Did you guys notice that I have Hawk Zolo on my shed door now? <laughs> Found it uh, while cleaning up the garage. It must have belonged to the previous owner. And I thought this thing made out of iron is too nice to uh, throw it away. And my wife says my shed is like a pigsty anyway. Ha 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 ha.